My name is Shoni Christensen, and I am a member of the Board of Directors for Dove Center, and also your MC for this evening. Now, this is Dove Center's eighth annual gala, but it's our first virtual gala, and we are so excited to have you. Now, normally, we would be in a beautiful ballroom with a wonderful meal, surrounded by all of our friends and family to enjoy tonight. But, of course, we are virtual, so we welcome you from wherever you are on the couch in your front room, in your office, maybe even at a park. We know that you're going to enjoy the evening just as much. I'd like to introduce our virtual tour. It is a glimpse behind the doors of Dove Center. And after that, we will hear from Ruth Winnegar, Board of Director President, and Lindsay Boyer, the Executive Director of Dove Center.
This virtual tour is being provided as a glance into the world of an abuse survivor's recovery journey. It is our hope that by the end of this short walk with us, you will leave with new insight and inspiration about the help that's needed, the hope that exists, and how all of this matters. Although Dove Center provides more than just shelter, it is a critical service that helps survivors overcome the many common barriers to leaving. Without somewhere to turn and without a safe support network and resources, many survivors unfortunately do not have anywhere else to turn for safety. Dove Shelter broke ground in 1994. The facility was made possible entirely through donation and service through concerned community members. Since opening, Dove has seen tremendous growth and continual changes to best serve survivors. Dove Shelter is a non-discriminatory shelter. It is here that survivors reside while utilizing case management, therapy, and parenting support services. The front office is the entryway into the rest of the shelter. An advocate is here 24-7 to answer any helpline calls and to assist residents with their needs. All residents staying at the shelter are provided a case manager to develop a safety plan and work with them on their individual needs. Our resource wall provides information on Dove services, job opportunities, housing opportunities, and inspirational quotes. Dove Shelter runs primarily off of donations. This is our kitchen and dining area for residents. We provide food for our guests through the Utah Food Bank and the Bishop Storehouse. Our outside area is a kid-friendly area for parents and children to get some fresh air. The living room is here to create a warm and home-like environment. We have movies, games, and books available to encourage family time. This is our child therapy room, where children can meet with our play therapist to address the abuse trauma they have experienced. Dove has some amazing youth advocates that help provide child activities during adult life skill classes. The shelter has six bedrooms and four and a half bathrooms. Each room is provided with sheets, a pillow, handmade quilt, and a welcome bag upon arrival. Dove understands that pets may also be victims of domestic violence. Dove partners with a few local partners that provide pet boarding to ensure safe shelter for these members of our clients' families. 20 years ago, Don and Sue Kimball founded the Aaron Kimball Foundation, a nonprofit service organization that provided transitional housing services to survivors of domestic violence. They were driven to establish this resource for survivors after experiencing a devastating loss no parent should ever have to endure. In 1983, their daughter Erin and her two very young children were shot and killed by her ex-husband. The Kimballs didn't want to see similar devastation for other families and therefore built a longer-term transitional resource for survivors and their children. The Kimballs and Dove leaders worked together to merge their transitional housing program under the Dove Center Services umbrella. This acquisition included a transitional housing facility with three units, six offices, and a child play therapy room. This year, we will be remodeling the main level to convert most of the office space into two family-sized transitional apartments. More time in safe transitional housing allows survivors to stabilize, find, and maintain employment, and develop a budget, build confidence, develop life skills, set and achieve goals for self-sufficiency, and save for independent housing, and be begin to heal from the effects of abuse trauma. Services have grown tremendously over the 26 years Dove Center has been serving our community. It has grown because the need demands it, and with a growing population, the need for vital services continue. Will you please join us in making a difference? Welcome to On the Wings of Resilience, Dove Center's eighth annual fundraising event. My name is Ruth Weniger, and I have the honor of serving as the president of Dove Center's board of directors. This has been a remarkable year of change and uncertainty, and resilience has been one of our goals for our clients and for ourselves. We have a fun and educational evening planned, including videos, silent and live auctions, and concluding with some great entertainment. Our gala is the biggest fundraising event of the year, so please bid high and often to support survivors in Southern Utah. Thank you for joining us, and please enjoy the evening. I echo Ruth's welcome to our eighth annual gala, Dove Center's first ever virtual gala. I am Lindsay Boyer, Dove's Executive Director. We are immensely grateful to have you here with us this evening. 
and thank you for joining us. We pay tribute this evening to the inspiration of resilience and gratitude. We are ever inspired by the strength and the courage of survivors, and we are very grateful for the hard work of advocates and counselors who work tirelessly to serve our survivors. Although 2020 gave us a wild ride, it also taught us a lot about resilience. It reminded us that survivors are resilient. It showed us that advocates are resilient and that our community is resilient. And for that, we are collectively stronger. And it takes all of us to cultivate that in our community because survivors need you, advocates need you, and Dove is less resilient without you. And so it is our great pleasure to share this virtual space with you this evening as we work together to help survivors find their wings of resilience. Now grab your beverage of choice, give one another a celebratory toast, and stay tuned because the bidding has already begun and the evening will go much quicker than you think. And thank you once again for being here with us tonight. Enjoy. Thank you, Lindsay. Now, if you joined us last year for our gala, you're going to see a familiar face and you're in for a treat. Tracy is back with us again this year as auctioneer from Stokes Auction Group. I want to remind everybody, you already know about all of the magical, wonderful silent auction and live auction items. Watch your bids closely. As this is virtual, bidding will go very fast and we don't want you to miss out on all of your favorite items. Tracy is back with us and we're going to really get rolling. Thank you, Shoni, so much for that kind introduction. And nobody is more excited to be back with you live tonight during this virtual event than me. I'm missing all of you so much. You were actually my last live auction uh, for 2020, so near and dear to my heart, and I so miss you. Can't wait till we can all be back together again. But in the meantime, I was thrilled to find out that there's been over 170 tickets sold for tonight's event. Wow, that's just incredible. And just goes to speak of how important this community is together and how resilient you are and how you're all coming together for Dove Center this evening. We have a few housekeeping things I need to go over with you first before we get started. If you're viewing with us tonight on YouTube, I just want you to be aware that you will not be able to bid. In order for that option, you have to go to the DoveCenter.org web page go to their home page and you'll see the button that says auction access you're going to push on that button to gain access to the live bidding and so much more so just remember if you're on youtube you can't bid with us all right the next thing we're going to go over very important tonight is our amazing sponsors without this group of people and companies we just simply would not be here tonight so i'm going to take just a few seconds to recognize them and thank them. Our headline sponsor, and we want to thank them so much, Sun American Mortgage. This is Sun American Mortgage's third year as a sponsor for the Dove Center. This was my active and lively table last year. Boy, do I remember you guys in that live room. Every single item you had your arms up. So thank you so much. I hope you're all out there with me virtually, and we can do it again tonight. We'll be hearing more from the Sun American Mortgage Group later on in our event. The next key sponsor I'd like to recognize is Carpets Plus and Joe Gibbons. Joe is a seven year sponsor of the Dove Center auction. Thank you, Joe. Next is Bill and Ray Cox. This is their second year of sponsoring. We're gonna also be hearing a little bit more about B Bill and Ray later on in the program. Next up is Swenson and Shelley. This is Swenson and Shelley's fourth year as sponsor. Thank you so much for helping us out and being there for Dove Center. Next one, and this is their fifth year, is Eagle Gate Title. Eagle Gate Title, can't thank you enough. Next is our board president, Ruth Weininger, and her husband, Doug Gunn. Thank you so much for your sponsorship. And finally, Tammy Richardson, she's a board member and part of the gala committee, ongoing supporter of the Dove Center, and we so appreciate you. Thank you. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank all of the Dove board, mem board of Directors and to the gala planning committee. Now, you might think that doing a virtual event like this 
would be easier than doing a live event. But you would be wrong. I was wrong. I didn't realize just how much work, much more work goes in to doing a virtual event. It's so stressful for all of us when we're learning this new technology. And we really appreciate more than ever our gala committee. So thank you once again. Okay, let's review how to bid. If you haven't already registered, you're going to go to the devcenter.org and click the auction access button on the home page. Once you're on that page, you can log in using your bidder number or your cell number or email address, whatever you used when you purchased your tickets. Once you're logged in, you're going to click continue. You can follow along with me with the orange arrows up here. The next screen will show you all the auction items and how to make a donation. To bid on an item, you'll click Bid Info button. From here, you can place a fast bid, set your maximum bid, or view the history of who's already been bidding. And an important note, in order to bid on those live items, you must click the green Bid Live button at the top of the page. Okay? If you need further assistance, you can contact the Dove staff at 53 excuse me at 435 628 1204 Tonight we are asking you to help the Dove Center raise funds to support survivors so our neighbors, coworkers, friends and family have life-saving refuge and trauma-informed support when it's most needed. We've got 38 silent auction items tonight that you'll be able to see all of it, see the history, see who's bidding and at how much on that uh, main home page. We're going to close these 38 silent auction items at 7.30 or just right around in there. So don't delay in, in bidding because that time's going to come really quick. I will come back to you and give you a little bit of a heads up just before we close that silent auction. Okay? So now we can start our live auction package, but remember, please be sure to click on the green bid live button at the top of the screen in order to open the bidding box. That's where you'll find the actual bid button. All right, we have a fabulous first item here. It's our warm-up auction item, and it is Salt Lake City, so close by. Sometimes we call these a staycation, but this is going to be day after tomorrow, a really big event, the Utah Jazz. <laughs> Utah Jazz is playing the Memphis Grizzlies, and we want you all to go out and support them. When was the last time we actually got to go to a sporting event, live and in person? So it's happening day after tomorrow, and this package is going to include four tickets for that game, against, once again, against the Memphis Grizzlies. This package also has four passes to the Hogel Zoo as a gift card to Little America, a gift card to Market Street Grill, and so many other things. We have a duffel bag and tag-and-go car wash voucher. Many, many things in this, in this uh, auction item. So it's our warm-up auction item. Let's get started. We had a starting bid of $270. Thank you, Lindsay Boyer. And we already went up to $400 with Becky Staples. Way to go, Becky. You get in there, girl. I'm going to pass this ball right back out. And at $400, let's see if we can get $450. $450, I'm going to bid now four and a half and four fifty. dollars dollars $400, $450. Change that bid to $50 more, $450. This is our warm-up, gang, our warm-up. So we're going to start you off slow and move along. Just take a second. I'd like to thank the person that got us the jazz tickets, Mr. Jason Schallenberger. Thank you so much for those tickets. And right now we're still at that $400 level. If we could get $450, $450, just hit, oh, there we go. We have somebody at $450. Thank you, Ron Woodbury. Way to go. So, Becky, you're out, girl. We need $500. $500 from you now. We've got $450 from Ron. We need $500. $500? $500? Can I get a $500 bid from Becky or even Lindsay if you want to get back in the game? And there we go. Kane Nelson came in at $500. We've got $500. How about five and a half and five fifty? Five hundred fifty dollars. Five hundred fifty. Five hundred and fifty dollars. I've got, and I got it. Jesse Yarger. Way to go. We've got a bunch of new bidders in here. I love it. Five hundred and fifty. How about six hundred? Six hundred dollars. Let's go up to six hundred dollars. Push that green bid button and let's go. 
$600. Come on now, I've got $550 from Jesse. You are the lead bidder at this point. We want to get $600, and there we go. Kay Nelson is in for the long haul, baby. Here we go. Kay Nelson got $600, and now $650. $650, $650, $650. I'm going to give you a few more seconds here. But, Jesse, if you want in for just $50 more, let's go to $650. $650. I've got $600 with K, and we're just getting ready to go. Oh, and there we go, $650. It's a, it's a competition now between K and Jesse. Get in there. Love this. Jesse is in for $650. $650. Let's go to $700. $700. Give me a $700 bid. $700. $700. I got $650. Look over $700. $700. Let's go now. Giving you a second, K. You can get back in there. I know you want to go to the Jazz game on Saturday night. So much fun. Night out on the town for a change. Won't that be refreshing? $650 with Jesse. Looking for $700. And I think we are going to go ahead and sell. That item is closed. And we sold it for $650. Well, that was a great warm-up. That got you all ready to go. Now you've got the hang of it, right? So now let's check this out. In the eight years that I have been involved with Dove Center Gala, I am always so moved by the generosity and support of our community. It is so incredibly impressive how many people come together to support this cause of the Dove Center. I'm excited to introduce some of those supporters right now, including our headline sponsor for the gala tonight, Brandon and Becky Staples from Sun American Mortgage. We chose to donate because we had a coworker who passed away due to domestic violence about 10 years ago and it really shook our world of how even in a small town like St. George it's real and it's there. Some girls are raised in homes where they're not shown how they should be loved or how they should be treated and we can give them the tools that they need so they can survive and they can thrive. And a lot of people may not have family and friends that are close and that may be the first place someone reaches out to go to. And so to have a neutral place that's there with open arms and willing to take someone in, I think is very important as well. We, we feel a responsibility to give back to worthy organizations that are doing great work and a, a community that is willing to, to step up and, and take care of people that find themselves in these very difficult situations is, is a community that I want to be a part of. My motto is give till it hurts. If it's a dime, uh, it, it all helps. Just give all we can this year because I do know the Dove Center, with the explosion of domestic violence, this year more than any, they need more money. And that's what we're here to do is provide them with the, the funding to continue to do what they're doing. Thank you to all of our donors. Thank you, Shoni, and thank you to our donors for appreciating the severity of the situation in all across the nation, not uh, just new to St. George, but you can be confident in knowing that your dollars that you donate are going to stay in your community by helping the Dove Center. It's going to go directly towards domestic violence and sexual assault in the St. George area. I think some of you might remember that uh, my son is a police officer. And I can tell you from experiences, from his experience, that domestic violence and sexual assault are the uh, most violent cases that they get called out on. Um, I think for, if you look in the news, you can also see that. So thank goodness for all of you for being here with us tonight. Uh, I want to give you a heads up. You've got 10 minutes left on your silent auction, maybe just a few seconds less than 10 minutes. So get your bids in there for those 38 silent auction items. All right. So we've already sold one live item. We did our warm-up. Now you've got the hang of it. I want to remind you to go to the green bid live button, bid on those items, because we're going to do our next live auction item, auction 
item number two, becoming a pilot. It can be one of the most exhilarating or rewarding things you can do, and Aviation Services Group is the best place to become a pilot in Southern Utah. This package is going to include 45 minutes intro flight and a gift certificate redeemable for flight instruction at ASG. All right, we're going to get started with this bid. Bill Cox has already got us started at a $600 bid. We're going to go up in $100 increments on this one. So I've got $600 and I need seven. Who can give me $700 for this fabulous, once in a lifetime, unique auction item? I have $600 looking for seven. $700. I'm going to bid now $700. I need $700. Anybody want to go flying? How about that really unique, great gift that you want to give a family member as a surprise? Seven, oh, and we got $700. Ron Woodbury again. Thank you so much. We have $700. And now eight. Right back to you, Bill. How about $800? $800 and learn to be a pilot. $800. I've got a $700 bid. I'm looking for $800. $800. I'm going to bid now $800. $800. I'm going to bid now eight. Push that green button and we will get right on up there at $800. And I got eight. Bill, way to go. Way to stay in there and hang in there with me, buddy. $800 from Mr. Bill. And we're right back in there with Ron. He was on the button at $900. So we've got $900 now looking for $1,000. $1,000 is what I need on this one. A $1,000 bill. Come on. Bill, I need $1,000. If you want to stay in it, I need 1000 bucks. I've got 900 from Ron. Let's go to 1000 One, And I got it. Thank you, Bill. $1,000. We have it. Woohoo! $1,000 from Bill. If Ron, if you want to stay in there, we need $1,100 from you, babe. $1,100. I need $1,100 bid. I got a $1,000. I need $1,100. And I got $1,100 from, from Ron. This is a horse race. I'm telling you what, right now, Bill and Ron, who's going to get to the finish line first? I've got Ron at $1,100. Bill, I need $1,200. $1,200 if you want to stay in it for me tonight, bud. $1,200. I got $1,100 looking for $12. $1,200. I'm going to be now $1,200. $1,200. I got $1,100 right now. <clears throat> right now looking for $1,200. $1,200, I'm going to bid now twelve. I got $1,100, and it's slowing down here, so I think I'm going to go ahead and sell it. I got $1,100. Oh, nope. Bill came right in there and just snuck in there at $1,200. $1,200. Ron, you still got your finger on that button? You can hit it for $1,300 right now, buddy. I got $1,200. I'll give her $1,300. $1,300. Oh, and Ron said, yes, ma'am. I am not out of the bidding yet. $1,300 from Ron. And now fourteen. I've got thirteen hundred. Look over fourteen hundred dollars. Fourteen hundred dollars, and you're going to go flying and help the Dove Center all at the same time. Double win here. I got the end fourteen. Bill has come back at fourteen hundred. Ron, I need you at fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred dollars. I've got Bill at fourteen hundred. Looking for fifteen hundred dollars from Mr. Ron Woodbury. Fifteen hundred dollars. I've got fourteen hundred with Bill. Looking for fifteen hundred. I'm going to give you a second to push that green button. Fifteen hundred dollars. Fifteen. Look over fifteen hundred. I got fourteen. Look over fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred. And we got it right there, 1500 with Ron. Way to go. 15 and now 16 Bill, if you want to stay in, I need $1,600. $1,600. $1,600, Bill. I've got 15 with Mr. Ron. Looking for $1,600. $1,600. Going once. Going to give you a second. Push that green button. 15 looking for $1,600. Going twice. And we are going to... Sell that item at fifteen hundred with Ron Woodbury. Way to go! Way to go! We have five minutes left on that silent auction, folks. Five minutes left. Okay, terrific! Congratulations, Ron. You've won the pilot's package. All right, at auction item number three is a mattress from Boulevard Home. You can transform your sleeping right now with this wonderful mattress from Boulevard Home. Spruce up your bedroom with this comfy queen size silver wreath pillow top mattress. We want to thank Boulevard Home once again. They have donated this item before, and we really appreciate their in kind donation. Thank you very much. Okay, where are we going to start this one? Wow, this is, I think there's a lot of sleepless nights going on in St. George because we've already had quite a bit of bidding, and I'm going to tell you. Bill Cox started it at 300 then we went Leslie to 4 Bill Cox back in at 5 Dixie Zitlow came in at $600, and Bill Cox is back in at 700 
So that $700 bid is the one to beat. I need $800 right now. Dixie, Leslie, let's see what you can do with your green buttons. I need $800. $800 is what I'm looking for. I've got a $700 bid looking for $800. $800. I have $700 looking for $800, and we got it. Dixie is in there. She says, I need a good night's sleep more than you know. $800 I have and looking for $9. I've got $800 looking for $900. $900. $900. I've got $800 looking for $900. We have mic a thousand micro coiled graphite infused. I mean, my gosh, I could be a mattress salesman right now. Memory foam absorbs heat away from your body. It just goes on and on. I've got $800 and I need nine. Nine hundred dollars. Nine hundred is the bid we're looking for right now. I've got eight hundred looking for nine hundred dollars. Nine hundred. Nine hundred dollars. I think we're going to go ahead and say going once. I've got eight hundred dollars with Miss Dixie and we are going to sell it. Congratulations, Dixie. You won the mattress for $800. All right. Silent auction is closing in three minutes. Three minutes it's going to close. And our next item for auction tonight is, au is auction item number four. It's a silver and gold Starburst canvas and a $100 gift card. Wilkinson's House of Lighting and Decor has donated this beautiful 40 by 40 canvas art piece and decor and excuse me <clears throat> and decor and designer furniture gallery has gifted us a thousand uh, $100 gift card to go with that so it can all be yours for this package thank you once again to Wilkinson's house of lighting and decor and designer furniture gallery thank you all right this item is up right now at a hundred dollars I'd like to start that bidding at a hundred dollar bid and I need 200 I've got 100 right now I need two hundred dollars $200. If you can bid another $100, give us $200. And Maureen, you are in, my girl. $200. Here we go. And now three. I've got $200. Look over $300. $300. $300. I've got $200 with Maureen. If you'd like to bid on this item, it'll cost you $100. And we need $300. $300 right now. And this will get you the 40 by 40 canvas and the $100 gift certificate to Designer Furniture Gallery. I've got a $200 bid looking for $300 right now. Push your green button and get in there. Start bidding with us right now, $300. I've got a $200 bid looking for $300. $300, $300. Joe, are you out? Are you in? $300, $300. 300 and we got it. Maureen, <laughs> okay, $300. We got a $300 bid, and now four. 300 looking for $400. I've got a $300 bid looking for 400 If you're interested in this beautiful Starburst canvas, go ahead and push that green button, and you'll, we'll get you in there for the $400 bid price, 400 I've got 300 right now looking for four. 300 looking for four. $400. I've got 300 looking for $400. 400 $400? Anybody? Going? We're going to sell it to Miss Maureen for $300. Thank you, Maureen, very much. Bought it for $300. We're going to close that silent auction in 20 seconds. 20 seconds, folks. Get your last bids in while we talk about the most important portion of the evening. But right now, we're going to close in 4, 3, 2, one, the silent auction is closed. It's closed, which is just in time because up next is the most important segment of our evening. So let's take it back to Shoney. Every year we have a very important part of our evening that really speaks to the Dove Center cause. As you know, one in three women and one in seven men are affected in Utah for sexual violence or domestic assault. And we need all the help that we can get to serve our community for those survivors. Tonight, Tracy, once again, will be a part of our fun, Denise. But before we get to the bidding, here's a look of why it's so important. were higher than they had been you know, in the last few years. There were 
more than double the request for services. Um, more people served in, in shelter care than we've ever served in a month's time before. We did see in April and May of, of last year, of 2020, we did see the calls increase about 20%. Domestic violence, we're seeing an increased rates and severity for these clients because they're in the home with their abuser more often than not. If they're isolated before we had social distancing and all of these other things that have affected us this last year with the pandemic, it's really pretty scary to think about what they have to go through now. There's so much uncertainty with the virus and going out and facing the world alone, but also doing that with a potentially life-threatening virus out there. It's really pouring gasoline on our already existing fire. And we know that with domestic violence, it doesn't end without intervention. It only escalates. You know, a lot of times these victims feel that they're just stuck. They're in a situation that they just can't get out of, either financially or, or maybe they don't have the support system to be able to do that. And the, and the Dove Center provides that. There's a need for case management, ongoing advocacy. Sometimes it involves going to court to get a protection order. There are so many different resources that survivors need, and this just adds more need. I've seen people been able to get out of a bad situation and go to a safe place to start that process and start that healing. Mostly we've converted the majority of our services to an online virtual model where we're able to provide that support through technology and that's been you know a, a saving grace um, because we live in a technological world we have to have services available if you were hesitant to reach out for help my answer would be you deserve it but you are worth it, and you deserve better. For somebody that can really break out of that and know that they deserve more and they deserve better, that's, that's resilience to me. Hi, once again, folks, I'm so very, very glad that you're here. You know, the one positive thing that we can all agree on, I believe, for virtual events is the opportunity to educate and to sort of throw that net wider to a larger group of people that might not have come to the physical event in the past. Um, hopefully, some of you are with us tonight. Whether you are a veteran donor or a new donor, this is our chance to educate you on the programs that we've already been doing at the Dove Center and how important and vital they are to go forward, especially like the video said this year where domestic violence and sexual assault rates are doubling. Um, isolating is not helping things. You see the numbers. There is also no socioeconomic, racial, or age boundary when it comes to domestic violence. Uh, for all of these reasons, I hope that you're going to learn something here tonight. Before we get on with our seven levels that we have for giving, this is the part of the program, as you know, that I'm just going to straight up ask you for cash. I'm going to ask you to dig down deep in your soul, in your stomach, in your heart, and give generously. But before we get started, I do have a really ex exciting announcement. The Dev Center has a very generous anonymous donor that has pledged a match donation overall for the overall donation of $50,000. That means for every dollar at every level, we're going to get a match up to $50,000. I think we can do this. I think we can get $50,000 to match that fifty. dollars to have a collective $100,000 this year. We did it last year. We did, the, we did over 50 last year. I'm pretty confident we can do it again with your help. All right? So to start off, I want to remind you to click on that green donate button at the top of the auction page where you'll see all of the different auction le or excuse me donation levels, and we're going to start at the $5,000 $5, level and work our way down to our other levels. 
5,000 is where we're going to start. We hope that you can find the level that works for you, that you feel comfortable with. And like Joe said at the beginning of the videos, donate until it hurts, okay? So at the $5,000 level, this will provide educational groups for teens in Washington County. We already, very generously, thank you, have a $5,000 donation from Kenny Gibbons with a D title, just to start us off. So we're so very grateful for that $5,000 donation. Kenny, thank you very much. And look at this, we already have a second donation of $5,000 from Ruth Winninger. Ruth, that is fabulous. You and Doug, thank you so much. So appreciated. We have another $5,000 donation from Bill Cox. Incredible. This is incredible. We're already well into our way to get that $50,000 match added on. Do I have any more people, any more groups that would like to donate at that $5,000 level? Every minute, every dollar counts. Push that green donate button if you can give us $5,000 to help domestic violence and sexual assault in the St. George area. Anyone else at 5000 before I move on to our next level? All right. The next level is... Oh, excuse me. Joe Gibbons. I'm so sorry. I missed this one. Joe Gibbons also gave 5000 5000 Joe, way to go. This is amazing. These are a lot of our sponsors I'm going to add to uh, tell you. Ruth, Bill, and Joe were all part of our sponsorship. Oh, my goodness. We just got another $5,000 donation from Amanda Wright. Oh, my goodness. This is amazing. Way to go, you guys. Oh, it does my heart good to see all of these fabulous donations and, and community outreach coming coming together for the Dove Center. Okay, wow, we have one, two, three, four, five people that have donated at the $5,000 level so far. This is terrific, $25,000, well on our way to that $50,000 goal so we can get it matched with the other 50. All right, if we don't have anyone else at the $5,000 level, I'm going to go ahead and move on to our next level at the $2,500 level. Now, $2,500 provides weekly groups and counseling for an entire family. We are really fortunate to have $2,500 donation already from Sharon Hakelum. She's a former board member on the Dove Center's Board of Directors, and she's a loyal supporter to the organization. Thank you so much, Sharon, for your generous donation of $2,500. Do I have anyone else at the $2,500 level that can donate at this time? Please push that green donate button and be recognized right now. Let's take a look at the thermometer just to see where we're at while you all are practicing pushing that green button. Look at the thermometer. We're so close. Let's get going. We've got it at the $2,500 level right now. We're at 35478 reading my numbers backwards. And we have a $2,500 gift from Salem Stanley. Woohoo! That's amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. That's terrific. If we have anyone else at the $2,500 level, it's going to just get us up to our, our goal quicker. So please push that button if you can right now. Dig deep, folks. The $2,500 level. Now, it's important to remember that these programs that I'm talking about tonight and how your money is going to affect your local community and stay local. Remember that those programs have been ongoing. And Lindsay and the gang are all coming up with new programs all the time that are there to help these survivors. Okay? All right. So we're going to go ahead and move on to our next level, which is a $1,000 level. $1,000 provides three months of trauma-informed counseling for a survivor. All right? So... Do I have anybody that would like to donate or can donate at the $1,000 level? Please go ahead and push that green button right now. We've got one here from Kay Ackerman. Thank you, Kay, so much at the $1,000 level. We've got one so far. Can we get any more at this $1,000 level? You just go to the donate uh, green donate button and push it, and we will recognize you right here. So we've got Kay Ackerman at $1,000. Do I have anyone else before I move on to the next level? Just going to give you enough time to get organized and do that. Before we start at the $500 level, I, ha I told you earlier that we were going to be hearing from Bill and Ray Cox a little bit later in the program. Well, now is the time. 
I'm really happy to announce that we have a match at this specific level, at the $500 level. For the first 10 people that donate $500, Bill and Ray will match it up to $5,000. So we're so incredibly excited for 10 of you. We're going to match this, okay? So just another way for us to reach our goals. So let's start off by Philip Ertel, $500 from Philip. Thank you so much. We also have a $500 donation from Mary Barth. Thank you. After Mary, we've, oh my goodness, Marlene Ritzman, way to go. $500 from you as well as Jaylee too. Jaylee too, thank you. And oh, the $500 are really coming in now. Garrick Mickelson, Dixie Zitlow, Carol Grady. Oh my goodness, Becky Staples, Marjorie. Thank you so much, Marjorie Lisi. $500. Oh my goodness, Maureen Meldrum. Thank you. Oh, John Pike. Oh my gosh, keep it coming, guys. Keep it coming. This $500 level is you. This is, this is going to be matched by Bill and Ray, and we're so excited to have this sort of double match going on in our fund and need. It's amazing how many community members have come through. Oh, we have 11 already at the $500 level. That's great. Just updated now, folks. <laughs> 11 people at the $500. Randy Christensen. And I think I already mentioned John Pike. Yes, but Randy Christensen's another one that just came through. And uh, we, I just am overwhelmed with the community generosity during this pandemic year. You've just, you're just proving yourselves over and over and over again, and I just can't thank you enough. Oh, Peg Bird, you just came through with your 500. Thank you very, very much. $500. Do I have anyone else at that $500 level? I think I've, oh, Kay Nelson. Kay, way to go. Good on you. $500 from Kay. Okay, all right. I've got Kay and Peg and Randy and John and Maureen and Marjorie and Becky and Carol and Dixie. And the list goes on and on and on, and we're so incredibly thrilled. All right, I just want to keep it open just a few more seconds just in case we have anybody else at that $500 level. The $500 level, I should tell you because I don't think that I did, provides one household with one month of transitional housing at Aaron's house. Pretty important stuff. Pretty important, a whole month, okay? All right. I want to say very, very much, uh, again, thank you to Bill and Ray Cox for this match level because without you guys, this is just, it's just getting there even closer. So thank you so much, Bill and Ray. Appreciate it. Okay, so our next item, our next level, our next level is $250. $250 provides one month of support groups for survivors and their children. This is our next level. We just have three levels left. If you can give us $250 right now, while I'm waiting for you to do that, let's go back to the thermometer and see where we're at. Oh, my goodness, it's getting closer all the time, 48,378. We are so close, you guys. Let's do this thing. We don't have that much further to go. So who do I have at the $250 mark? Becky Huey, thank you very much for your $250. I've got Vapor at $250 and Kemet Hughes all at the $250 level. That got us started, and oh, we got an anonymous one for 250 But Elizabeth Bloom came through with 250 as did Ross Johnston. Thank you all so much. $250. If you can throw in another $250, it will just get us all the closer in our thermometer and our goals tonight. And we are just thrilled to be able to take advantage of that $50,000 match and get us to the $100,000 level. Ro uh, Ross, I still have Ross. Do I have anybody else at the two hundred and fifty dollar level? Two hundred and fifty bucks. All right, just a few more seconds here to wait and see how we do before we move on to our next level, which is a hundred dollars. The hundred dollar level provides one day at a shelter for a survivor. Okay, so like I said before, every dollar counts. Every level matters. It's all going to get us to our ultimate goal of helping these survivors. Children, adults, men, women, all ages, all ethnicities, all, socio all different social economic uh, histories. All right? $100 provides one day at a shelter for a survivor. Who we have so far at the $100 level? Blake Fry. Thank you so much, Blake. Natalie Ashby at $100. Leslie Faust. 
$100. Garrick Nicholson, more than your first donation. Garrick, thank you so much at $100. Jonathan Bacon, thank you. And Lindsay Boyer, all at the $100 level. Do I have anyone else? This was our largest level last year. Actually, that and the $250 level were our largest levels last year. So let's see if we can get even more of you. And here we go. They're coming in like crazy. Marky Pickett, thank you. Lisa Connor, awesome. Julie Akins and Misty Valencia, Lori Cottom, Cherie Hershey. Oh my goodness, the list goes on and on. Oh, okay. I'm gonna take. To, I'm gonna go back to that one in just a second. But we've got Karen at a hundred dollars. Uh, Balausic, Teresa Price, Mary Barth, all at the hundred dollars, and yet another anonymous at the hundred dollar level. While I'm waiting to see if any more of you are going to donate at that hundred dollar level, I just want to add that Shoni Christensen came in at $250 at that level. So we want to thank Shoni for that generous donation at that upper level. Thank you so much. Uh, Mary Barth, again, Mary, thank you so much. You're just a giving kind of gal. You've given a couple of the $100 donations. You've given three. Mary, <laughs> Mary Barth, thank you for that. She's given a total of $300. Amanda Wright is also donating at the $250 level. She's gone back. And we're going to do that $250. Hey, I'm going to take it. I don't care. Bring it in. Bring it on. Amanda, thank you so much at the $250 level. Do I have anyone else at the $100 level or the $250 as the case may be? I mean, I'm really not picky, folks. All right. Let's take, while we're waiting just a few more seconds, let's take one more look at that thermometer and see where we're at. Oh, my goodness. We are, we hit it. We hit it. $50,928. And we still have one level to go. Let's blow this thing out of the water. What do you say? Let's do it together. We're going to go down to the final level, which is our $50 level. $50 helps cover animal care and lodging for the beloved pets of our survivors. This is important to the well-being mentally and emotionally for the kiddos and, and everybody that these, these are part of the family, right? So $50 really matters. Nicole Houston, thank you for your $50 donation. Misty Valencia, way to go, girl. Uh, can we get any more at that $50 level? Because every $50 level that you give us is going to push us that much further over our goal. And we are here to do as much as we can tonight. So $50, Leanna Bergeron, thank you so much. Lindsay Boyer, thank you at the $50 level. Oh, we got another one, another Lindsay Boyer, another $50 level. She's done it twice. Okay, anyone else at the $50 level? Uh, Mary Beth, did she donate a fourth one at $100? Oh, my goodness, Mary Barth, thank you so much. She gave us another. I, I've seen her name on here so many times, I thought I was just being repetitive and Looks like uh, I have been because Mary has been. So way to go, Mary. All right. We're going to go back to that $50 level. Shoni Christensen, thank you for your $50 donation. Lindsay Boyer gave another $50. Thank you so much. Just keep them coming, folks. Keep them coming at the $50 level. We are actually going to keep this portion of the donation, that green donation box that's just the straight-up cash, until April the 1st, all right? We want to be sure that everyone has an opportunity to, in their own time, donate. Maybe you got a little riled tonight with the technology. Maybe you just weren't in the right mindset. Maybe you want to share this with friends and family. We're going to keep it open until April the 1st so you can do all of that and continue to donate to our cause. Let's take one more look at the thermometer. Brittany Ward, $50. Thank you. Ruth Weninger, thank you. $50. We're still getting those $50 in. And we are right now raising $51,328. Add that to our $50,000. We're at $101,328. I want each and every one of you in your living room, sitting in it there in your sweatpants, to give yourselves a round of applause. I love this auction. This is amazing. Thank you so much. Some of you might have gotten dressed up and drank a little champagne or something like that, but others of you are just sitting in your couch and enjoying this whole festivity, which we are too, because who doesn't like to support a great cause? All right. Do I have any more at that 50? Yes. Brian Meldrum came in with $50. Uh, I already talked about Brittany Ward. Thank you so much. So I think that right now we're going to go ahead and keep that donating open, but we're going to go into our opportunity drawing. Now, all of you that purchased tickets to this event earlier, 
we're automatically entered into the opportunity drawing where we have five great items to give away. And I'm going to tell you who won. First one is a TCL 32 inch smart TV and the winner of that item is Jeff Staples. Congratulations Jeff on the winning of the smart TV. The next item were the, was the uh, Brian Head Ski Resort lift passes for the 21-22 winter season plus two lift trick rentals. And that bidder, thank goodness, Bill Cox. Bill Cox won that item. I think that's good when uh, heavy, big donors uh, get, to, get to reap a little bit of the rewards at the end here. So thank you so much, Bill. Number three is the Sand Hollow ATV Tour with rentals and a Hungry Howie's Pizza gift certificate. And the winner for that package is Lisa Connor. Lisa Connor, congratulations. And you have won the Sand Hollow package. The next item, we have actually two of these, and it's a handmade quilt by Jeanette Ivy, along with a $100 Feel Love gift card, uh, Feel Love Coffee gift card. So we have two of these winners, the first one being Sherry Jones, and the second one is Ursula Reichs. So congratulations, congratulations to Ursula and Sherry. You are the winners of these, the beautiful quilt and the coffee gift cards. Now, let's get back to our live auction items. I don't see any more uh, bids in on the, on the fund and items, so we're going to take one last look at that thermometer just to see where we're at, and then we're going to move on to our fifth live auction item. There we go. Perfect. Give you guys a big round of applause. You, you're just awesome. That's amazing. Okay, right back to our live auction item. This is our fifth item of the evening, and this is Friends Dinner Extravaganza. I don't know about any of you, but are you ready to have dinner with your friends? And what's even better is somebody else is going to cook the meal. That's right. We have a catered dinner for six people from private chef and caterer, Danina McKinnon. She's going to guide you through all four, four courses of this meal. It's going to include two bottles of wine and a bamboo charcuterie board. Thank you, Danina McKinnon, for this amazing donation. All right, this is a popular, popular item, and we already have 200 plus 3, 300 and then 4, 400 and then 5, 500 now 6, $600 is where we're at right now with Salem, Stan Salem Stanley <laughs> at $600, so I need 700. I've got $600, so Jonathan, Vicki, Julie, and Jody, you are out, and Salem is in. We are at $600, and I'm looking for 7 $700, if you want to go 700 be the talk of the town and your new neighbor's best friend because you're going to have everybody over for this fabulous dinner and wine and charcuterie board. It's amazing. I need $700. $700. I've got $600 now. Look over $700. $700. I'm going to be now $700. I've got $600. Look over $700. Salem is in the running right now at $600. Jonathan, if you want to get back in there, you need to give me another $100. Make it $700. I've got $600 right now. Look over $700. Seven hundred dollars. I'm gonna be now seven hundred. Seven hundred dollars. Are you done pouncing on the button? I'm gonna go ahead and sell it for six hundred dollars to Salem Stanley. Oh, oh, Salem just gave another hundred dollars for the same item. So we sold it for seven hundred dollars to Salem Stanley. Thank you so much. Seven hundred dollars, and it is sold. Okay. Our next item tonight. Item number six: the gold bracelet and ring set. The ring is a 10 karat stamped yellow and white gold mounted with single brilliant round cut diamonds and accented with six more round brilliant cut diamonds. The total carat weight of the diamonds is a half a carat. The bracelet, and this is a, this is a combo package, this is, you're buying both items. The bracelet is 10 karat stamped yellow gold S-link bracelet mounted with 57 single cut diamonds. The diamond weight of the bracelet is one carat. This is an anonymous donor, but let's get started with the bidding. Right now, Mr. Joe Gibbons is in at $800, so we're going to go to nine. I've got $800, look over $900. $900, $900. I've got $800 here, look over $900. $900, $900. You can see the picture of the beautiful ring and bracelet on your screen. I need $900. I've got $800, look over $900. $900, I'm going to bid now $900. $900. $900, I'm going to bid now nine. I've got $800, looking for nine. $900, I, I hope you can see the beauty of this bracelet. 
as much as I can. You know, the other name that you usually call this S-link bracelet is a tennis bracelet. They used to call them tennis bracelets, but it's gorgeous. I've got an $800 bid for both of for both pieces. $800 looking for $900. $900. $900. $900. $900. Going once, $900. Going twice, all through, I'm going to sell it for $800 to Joe Gibbons. Congratulations, Joe. You won the ring and bracelet set. This is our last auction item of the evening, auction item number seven. It's a sapphire ring. You're going to see it up on your screen right now. This is gorgeous. 14 karat stamped white gold ring mounted with a single oval brilliant cut natural sapphire and six baguette cut diamonds. The total weight is a third of a carat for the diamond weight. All right. This is a stunning, stunning ring. Right now we've got our opening bid at $750. So if you want to bid, I need $850 from you. I've got $750. Look over $850. $850. I've got $750. Look over $850. Let's not forget we've got a few major holidays coming up. Mother's Day. Uh, we might have some spring birthdays. You just never know. So keep all of these things in mind when you're bidding here. You're not just helping Dove Center. You're helping yourself. Okay? So I've got a bid for $750 and I'm looking for $850. $850 is what I need. Just one more bid, folks, at $850, $100 more for this stunning white gold ring with the sapphire and the baguette diamonds. $850. I've got $750. Looking for $850. $850 going once. $850 going twice. Sold to Joe Gibbons for $750. I want to let everybody know that all of our winners, whether it's the opportunity prizes, the silent auction items, or the live, will be able to pick up their items at the Dove Center's outreach office in Troon Park at 1240 East 100 South, Building 22, Suite 221. But right now, I want to thank all of you for your spirited bidding doing this virtually with us. It was new to everybody, and you did a fabulous job. If you want to check out, you're going to hit that red pay button at the top of the screen and check out at this time. I can't tell you how excited I am to be here with all of you tonight. I can't wait to see you in person next year. I miss you, but you have been incredible to your Dove Center and to your community to help them out in this time of desperate, desperate need. Keep in mind that we're going to keep that donate button open until April the 1st. And if you want to share that, uh, this information with anyone else, be, be sure to do that and have them donate too if they'd like to. And I'd like to wish you all a good night. First, we're going to enjoy some local artists, Mickey, Mickey, excuse me, Mikaline and Eric Dodge, along with a final message from Shen. Good night. Stars go out east.
this be our prayer. Let this be our prayer. When shadows fill our day. When shadows fill our day. Lead us to a place. Guide us with your grace. Give us faith so we From above, and watch us from above. We hope each soul will find, hope each soul will find another soul to love. Another soul to love. Let this be our prayer. Let this be our prayer. Just like every child. to find a place, guide us with your grace, give us faith so we'll be saved. Needs to find a place, guide us with your grace, give us faith so Hi, this is Michael Lee. And this is Eric Dodge. We hope you enjoyed our music video of The Prayer. We all pray for a world where pain and sorrow will be ended and every heart that's broken will be mended. We hope the song resonates with all of you and can stand as a testament to the resilience of survivors of domestic violence. Thank you, Dove Center, for choosing our song for the virtual gala this year and for all you do to help the community fight domestic violence. And a big thank you to all of you as well. The funds raised here tonight will reach so many in need. Congratulations and a huge thank you to all of the winners and everybody that bid on tonight's auction items. Now, we will be in touch with you to schedule how you can arrange to pick up your items from Dove Center. Thank you from the bottoms of our heart for attending here our first, and let's hope it's our last, virtual gala. We are really excited to have had you here today, and we look forward to seeing you and hugging you again soon.